Hello Libra, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection at this time and the energies between you and your person. All right, so let's jump into the readings. For Libra, Spirit Angels Guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Libra? regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time spirit what does libra need to know about this person they are thinking about or connecting with tell me about what's going on in this connection between libra and their person what's going on between libra and their person we have the devil, Capricorn energy, the five of cups, and the lovers, Gemini energy. So I get the sense that things are, there's been disappointments, regrets. Sadness regarding a connection, the state of a connection, a circumstance in a connection where someone might feel restricted. Maybe the connection has turned unhealthy or there's some unhealthy dynamics to the connection. We'll see more when we clarify. What can you tell me about Libra's energy? Now Libra, keep in mind these readings are general so they will not resonate with every Libra watching. And feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Libra's energies in this connection. What do we need to know? about Libra's energies in this connection. Well, we have the tower on your end, okay? Tell me more about Libra's energies in this connection. The 10 of cups, interesting. Normally wouldn't see those together, <laughs> but I feel like a tower is bringing someone a lot of happiness. Or this could be a tower happening within a family unit. We'll see what we get when we clarify that. Tell me about Libra's person. The person Libra is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? The five of wands. Okay. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Libra? We need to know, sir. The Seven of Wands. Okay, so this person is like in a fighting mood or fighting back, dealing with a challenge, an obstacle. This person could also be resisting, but I get the sense that they are um, defiant or fighting back. Um, So let's get some more insight into what's going on in the connection and start there. For Libra, what do we need to know about this connection? We, okay, we have thought, uh, considerate, thoughtful, and generous. What do we need to know about this connection between Libra and their person? Closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about Libra? Unhealthy attachment? Yeah, there's something here going on with an unhealthy attachment on your side or on their side. Okay, let's get a stellar guidance deck. What else do we need to know about this connection? What else do we need to know about this connection? What else do we need to know about this connection? Trust your intuition, number 42. Hmm, what's at the bottom of the deck? Choose a new direction, number six. Okay. Someone could be evaluating a situation and deciding to go in a different direction. 
based off of like their intuition or what's going on right now because something in this connection is off libra or outside of this connection if you're dealing with someone outside of this connection or they're dealing with someone outside of this connection it's off so let's get some clarity i'm actually going to use my clarifying deck I got some clarity for Libra regarding these energies. We need to know. We need to know. Tell me about the devil. Now, with considerate, thoughtful, and generous, someone could be wanting to give you something. A message, perhaps. We'll see. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? The fool, breaking free of an unhealthy attachment, perhaps, being free of a restriction. Tell me more about the devil. Why is the devil here? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like someone is taking action towards being free of something. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck, maybe a decision needs to be made to choose a new direction. Tell me about the Five of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? The world. Wow. Okay. So I feel like someone has regrets over um, something that happened in the past. And maybe they want to start new with the world and the fool. Can I get one more with the Five of Cups? Okay. We have the Moon, Pisces energy, the Star, Aquarius energy, and the Ace of Wands. So yeah, I feel like someone wants a do-over or they're in the midst of their heartache or disappointment. They're wanting to start new. However, the Moon, Pisces energy, it's making me think that someone could be closed off about this or something could be off about this, you know? And this is probably why you need to trust your intuition because there's something hidden beneath the surface here or someone's keeping a secret. Tell me about the moon. Let's see if we can get something here. Move this over. Tell me about the moon. What can you tell me about the moon? Two of swords and the king of pentacles. So. Someone could be undecided. Maybe this moon represents confusion or doubts, uncertainties about the decision they have to make or about the direction they need to go towards. Interesting. Others of you, I'm also getting this message that you're not happy in this connection and you're thinking about a new beginning elsewhere because there's hope in something new but you're just not sure let's see tell me about the lovers tell me about the lovers the chariot cancer energy okay these kind of just fell justice there you are libra two of cups and king of cups okay I feel like someone wants to make things right. Um, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone wants to make things right with their partner. Again, it's like this energy of a do-over. Which kind of confuses me. I feel, you know, one of the overall messages that I have seen here on the board so far is that there was a tower that you experienced or you brought up this tower for your own personal happiness but your person is not happy with that i feel a disconnect between you and this person we'll see when i break it down but on your side you have a tower with the ten of cups and they have the five of wands with the seven of wands almost like you know very different energies but when it comes to the energies of you together the devil is here with the five of cups so it's like there's disappointment regret remorse guilt a sadness 
an, an, an unhealthy attachment at the same time. It's like maybe a connection that became unhealthy or a connection that someone is in that is very unhealthy. So I don't know if that connection is between you and this person or if there's like something outside of you. Like you are unhappy in a connection outside of this connection, like a third party situation, or they are. I'm not sure. So let's get some insight into what you guys are thinking or feeling. Tell me more about the energies between Libra and this person. Remember that you can uh, flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Libra's energies in this connection, Spirit. What are Libra's energies in this connection? I regret what happened. There's that regret. Tell me about this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? What are their energies in this connection? I'm working on myself. Hmm. That's interesting energy. Because this five of wands and seven of wands doesn't really tell me that. But bottom of the deck, please wait for me to improve. Please wait for me to make a decision, perhaps. Now you're having regrets over the situation. But have was your the regrets that you are having leading you to a tower? Let's see. What's this tower about? Why is the tower here? Five of pentacles and the eight of pentacles flipped over. So yeah, I feel like something wasn't working. Something wasn't working. And this tower possibly illuminated it or was a result of something not working. Okay, now I can't pick this up, of course. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ace of Cups. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like... I don't know, Libra. I, I get the sense that you are going to have a Ten of Cups, but I don't know if it's with this particular person or just in general. You're going to be very happy. Tell me about the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Ace of Cups? I mean, yeah, Ten of Cups. We need to know about this Ten of Cups. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. Well, the hermit is planning things, figuring things out, listening to their intuition, listening to their heart. I feel like this is what you've been doing. I sense that you have clarity about something. Now, I'm not sure if this is someone that you want to repair things with. If you do want to fix things with this person, can you let me know in the comments? Because I feel like there's a disconnect. One of you, you're not on the same page. I don't feel that you are on the same page with this person or you can't be on the same page right now for whatever reason. So let's look. Actually, let me get a romance angel for you. And then I'll jump into your person's energy. Can I get one more energy for Libra? One more energy, please. For Libra, what do we need to know? Libra's energy, what do we need to know? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So what I'm getting with that card is that 
someone's possibly going to, they could even be the one that's telling you that they regret what happened here. Because I sense that your person might be wanting to fix things or fix this tower or deal with this tower. And it's almost like someone wants to make you an offer. Bottom of the deck, give your relationship a chance. Yeah. So tell me about Libra's person. What are their energies? Libra's person. What are their energies? What do we need to know about Libra's person? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So they have something to reveal to you. They want to get to know you or get to know you again. Um, reveal something. Let's see what we go and clarify down here. Tell me about the five of wands and the seven of wands. Why is the five of wands here? with the seven of wands. Why is the five of wands here? The seven of wands, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Judgment, okay. Five of wands, seven of wands. The lovers, wow. Yeah, Gemini energy again. There's a six of swords. So that's weird. It's When I see the Hierophant judgment and the lovers together, I think of someone that wants a second chance and is willing to, to step up. <clears throat> um, maybe they have clarity about a connection. But this is clarifying the Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands, which is all about conflict and struggle, uh, courage, resistance. So it's like someone's fighting for this, fighting for a second chance or fighting for love in some way. Uh, Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck with a Page of Pentacles. So they could be coming forward to bring you some sort of an offer here. Maybe they are telling you that they left a situation, Six of Swords, or they're, they're, they left a situation, but now they're back with a Page of Pentacles, something like that. Um, I feel with getting to know each other, it's like they have something to say and something to give you. Let's get a little bit more insight into this person. Can we get one more energy for this person. That Libra is hazard we'll be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person's energy? Great fortune and change at the bottom of the deck. I think that your person wants an opportunity and it's gonna require some sort of change. Let me get one more for the judgment card. Let me get one more for judgment. If your person is in a commitment, things are not great there, but at the same time, they need to end that attachment. You know, they can't have both. And if you know if you're not happy there, then you have to decide. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Knight of Wands. So again, and there's the Page of Pentacles. I feel this is someone that wants a second chance with you. It wants to prove something to you. This person, they are fighting for you or fighting to have this second chance with you. Something like that. That for some reason we get this energy of choose a new direction and then behind that there is a purpose so there's a purpose for going in a whole new direction hmm. we'll have to see where all of this is headed um 
I feel this person is going to try to commit to you or offer you some sort of commitment to prove to you that they've changed. 